sometimes you want to share specific content with your PLC uh, team members or teachers at other schools who teach the same subject. So this is really gonna help with kind of dividing and conquering. Uh, you can sit and plan together and then divide up the workload, uh, create what you are assigned in Canvas and then share it with each other. So this is the process that you'll take for that. So let's say that I have been, um, I volunteered to make the intro module page. So to share this page with other teachers, I'm going to click into the page. This also allows you to make sure that you're looking at the correct page. And up here beside the edit button is a three dot menu. If you click that, you're gonna choose send to. This is gonna pop up a box where I can start typing in my teammate or uh, coworker's name and she will pop up. Uh, and I can type in somebody else. So I'll type in Sean. So I can send something to multiple people and click send. Now I'm not actually gonna send this to them, uh, but if I did, they would both get an email saying content had been shared to them. They would get an email in their inbox. The other place that it's gonna go is it's going to go to their account. So over here on the left-hand side, the teal Canvas navigation, if I click account and I choose shared content, this is where all content that others have shared with me will live. It's gonna be a list here, but what's nice about this is you can see a list of the uh, content, what type of content it is. So is it a page, an assignment, a discussion? Who is it from? And under actions, you can preview the content to make sure it's what you want, and you can import the content. If I choose import content, it's gonna allow me to find one of my courses. So maybe I want to add this to, uh, Chris has a course sandbox um, that I am also a teacher in. So I can send this to this course that I'm a teacher in. Not only can I send it to that course, but I can actually select a specific module, which I would encourage you to do. Otherwise, if you just send it to the course, that page is gonna be at the very, very bottom of your modules list. So I would go ahead and send it directly to a module, and you can even determine where in the module this page will go. So you can be very specific with it. Keep in mind, if you send it to a specific place in a module and you decide later you want it somewhere else, you can drag and drop from the modules page to move where you want this information. Once you click import, that content imports into my class and from there it is my copy. So I can edit and revise it to meet the needs of my students and my classroom. So even though another teacher did kind of the bulk of the work and shared it with me, I still have the ability to revise it to fit my needs without affecting her original work that she did. So that is how you can share content with each other's directly and also where you will find content shared with you.